What's up guys and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator where you get things like this happening. You get a bunch of people shooting arrows at a bunch of guys with clubs and uh, you see who wins. So yes, this is a game that came out uh, a few years ago maybe, um, but I've only just got around to actually downloading it. Um, but yeah, effectively the idea is you put a bunch of random people on one side of the map, a bunch of random people on the other side, and you see who wins. So uh, yeah, what we've got here, we could get a mammoth. Uh, we can have okay right we I've already worked out what we're gonna do here we're gonna have a war of stoners so we're gonna have 20 versus 20 stoners right battle of the stoners let's commence so they've just thrown okay so um it appears as if they're not very accurate with their stones um but they uh and they're also very slow to reload their stones but uh, when the stones hit they definitely do some serious damage. <laughs> uh, it's hard to tell who's winning, actually. I think the Reds might actually have an extra person, but uh, might be might be level. Anyway, uh, right, well, they definitely have a few more people now, as it's two versus five. Oh, no, wait, three. This guy somehow managed to get up. Uh, okay, so it's now four versus two stoners. It looks like the Red stoners are going to win, and in fact, they do, as that stoner took it to the face. Uh, right, so this <laughs> that is... Totally accurate battle simulator. So uh, let's find another war we could do. Let's have a bunch of spore, spore throwers, spear throwers versus a mammoth. Go. Let's see what happens. Right. So the mammoth is lumbering its way forward. The spear thrower. Okay. Well, that was far too easy. Right. Let's get rid of the, uh, the spear throwers. Let's have a bunch of clubbers versus the mammoth. Okay. Mammoth lumbering his way forward. Right, so they've actually got into a fight this time. The mammoth stands a chance and is doing some sort of weird sit-down belly crush on all of the guys. And the uh, the mammoth has, in fact, won that one. Okay, so what happens if we put a bunch of protectors along the front? So that's basically just people with bits of wood thinking it's a shield. Uh, right, so let's see if they stand any chance against the mammoth. It doesn't seem to have slowed the mammoth down in any way whatsoever, but might have given the uh, the clubbers a little bit of an advantage but it doesn't appear as if it has done and the mammoth is about to kill them and the mammoth wins that as well okay right let's clear this let's see if the mammoth can survive a ballista let's go right ballista to the face boom all right okay so the ballista has shot it in the mouth and the mammoth is about to end the ballista. Okay, so the ballista, not very good against a mammoth. How about four ballistas versus a mammoth? Is this enough? Yeah, that indeed is enough to take out a mammoth. Okay, so now we know how many ballistas it takes to kill a mammoth. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Captain. Okay, right, let's have a captain versus a king. Captain versus the king. Let's see what goes on here. Okay, so captain's running forward. Captain shoots the king in the face. The king swings, misses. Captain belly shot with the gun. Captain, the, the king is on the ground. The king is swinging and missing. Captain is shooting him drastically in the back of the head. But the king is still alive somehow. Now he's not. <laughs> now he was certainly is not alive anymore. So the, uh, the it appears if the captain is an absolute beast. Right, okay, let's have the captain versus... Uh, what can we do the captain versus uh, a jouster? Okay, let's see who wins this. Jouster coming in. Captain shoots the horse in the face. Uh, the jouster is now in a circle. Needs to turn around, come back towards the captain. The captain has killed the jouster. My camera work here, not great. But the, uh, the captain has managed to annihilate the jouster. Um, so, right, okay. Jouster does not seem to be a match for the captain. How about we try something different let's do a long ship versus the captain the captain knows ships very well uh let's give this a go shall we right okay so the long ship is coming in the uh okay right so the captain shot the long ship has landed on the captain it is now on top of the cap the captain's still able to shoot his gun from under there though and uh, it doesn't seem to be doing too much work uh the captain is now okay right so that was us just a, a killing blow there by this guy who uh managed to <laughs> the captain is stuck under the long ship okay so i'm going to try that again and see what happens this time because it seems like he was uh, significantly hampered by the fact the long ship landed on top of him it's happened again immediately so the long ship is now under like he the captain is now under the long ship his sword is flailing out the side of the long ship and he is shooting randomly 
not able to... Oh, you somehow managed to take out that guy. The captain is submerged in the ground, still somehow alive. Okay. So the captain fell through the planet, which ultimately saw his demise. It looks like the longship might be a bit of a, a bit of a push for the captain. So let's get rid of the captain. Let's try, let's do a jouster versus the longship. Let's see what happens here. So the longship is going, it gets thrown up and completely misses the jouster. Uh, the jouster goes straight underneath it, and now it's the jouster versus a few guys with paddles, and uh, the paddle men are still somewhere alive. Two of them are alive versus the jouster who, uh, okay, right, okay, it looks like one remains. He's down, but he's not out, and now he's out. <laughs> okay, so the jouster is a bit too quick for the uh, the good old longboat here. Uh, let's try a minotaur versus the longboat. And the minotaur has just done the same thing, has flown straight underneath the boat and has left them completely in the, uh, in the right, so they're now trying to disembark the boat. And, uh, okay, the Minotaur is definitely having his way with the people and their paddles. Um, they're doing their best to try and paddle the Minotaur in the back of the head, but the Minotaur seems to be uh, taking it because it is, in fact, a min Wait, what? The Minotaur lost! This guy with his paddle has somehow managed to kill the Minotaur. Okay, well, that was unexpected. Uh, so the paddle boat, paddle boat, the long boat has uh, definitely won that one. Let's try paddle boat versus dragon. Here we go. Okay, paddle boat. I keep calling it paddle boat. The long boat. The long boat has been thrown up and hit the uh, the dragon, but the dragon's still going. It just got knocked off slightly. The paddle men are uh, doing their best. Okay, right. They have sacrificed their dragon to go in and try to do some hand-to-hand -hand combat, which. Well, that did not work at all well for the Dragon Men. Uh, okay, so it looks like the Longboat is extremely powerful. How about a Captain and a King versus the Longboat? Right, here we go. So the Longboat's going to get thrown up, lands on both of them, and has crushed the Captain. The, the King is still somehow out. The, okay, the King has got out, but the King is dead. The King has died. Now the Captain has somehow managed to pull off some ridiculous move to come out of, from underneath the Longboat. And is now trying to kill, finish off. Right, the longboat has managed to kill both the captain and the king. Are we ever going to find anything? Okay, right, we have managed to find a couple of things that have killed the uh, the longboat, but it's uh, there's not many. It seems like the longboat is extremely powerful. Okay, so catapult versus longboat, who shall win? It would appear as if the catapult <laughs> is going to win this. Already, the catapult has. Uh, annihilated three of them. There's a couple of guys with paddles and the catapult has... Okay, right. Well, they're currently hiding behind their longboat, but the longboat is sinking through the world, so they're not going to have much more defense. Uh, so that guy tripped over the rock uh, and is now... Okay, so that guy just got absolutely taken out by the catapult. Man with paddle versus catapult. Who's going to win? The cat. This man with paddle has the paddle stuck behind his arm and has been royally annihilated by the catapult. This guy does not seem to be having the greatest day at work. Um, okay, so, catapult beats longboat. How about catapult versus five knights? Catapult takes out, okay, it doesn't even take out one of them. Okay, it looks like the knights are gonna win this quite easily as uh, catapult has no ability to reload that quickly. Okay, let's try something a little bit different. Catapult versus death. Here we go. So the catapult has hit death, but hasn't done anything to actually take him out yet. Now he needs to reload before death gets upon him. Here we go. One more shot, maybe. And he's completely missed. And death has just taken them all out. Okay. Well, I say taken them all out. Taken him out. How about we do five pumpkin catapults versus death? Let's see what this does. So we've got the pumpkins go flying up. They have okay, right? Well, that was absolute destruction, right? So it looks like five catapult, uh, five pumpkin catapults, and death is no more. Uh, okay, what else could we do here? Let's do something a little bit more realistic. Fifteen shields on either side, followed up by fifteen guys with big long spears sticking through the shields. Now this is this is proper realistic fights right now, right? Let's see what happens here. So the spiel, okay, right, okay, absolute chaos is what's unfolded here. Um, right, so they, it looks like the Blues might actually be winning this. Maybe not. The Reds have got quite a few people still standing. Uh, but it looks like all the Shield Men have died. It's just the Spear Men now that remain. And the Blue Spear Men have won it! Okay, so let's try that again. But let's have some Archers as well in the background. 
So that's another 15 archers. There we go. Uh, let's have a couple of ballistas, three on either side. That sounds about right. A minotaur, because why not? And then a Zeus, just for good measure. Right, start. So this is a properly accurate... Oh my word, the computer is not handling this particularly well. Okay, so this is this is what you would expect to see in ancient Greece. Um, a lot of a lot of argy bargy, and then a Zeus just kind of throwing lightning around the place because you know Zeus is do what Zeus is do. The minotaurs, okay, that minotaur just got absolutely sent. Uh, the frame right here, okay. The snakes are currently trying to attack this man. <laughs> oh my word! The snakes are now going for the ballistas. Uh, it looks like the snakes. So there's one snake remaining. Uh, okay, it looks like the snakes have all died. Uh, so we've got one ballista versus three ballistas. Let's see, and a Zeus. That Zeus looks like he may still be alive. Uh, but that ballista has been taken. Okay, well, that was totally accurate battle simulator. It is an absolute murder on the CPU once you get over like like 30 people. Um, but yes, if you have ever decide, uh, ever wondered who would win out of a battle between... Okay, right, we zoomed out a little bit too far here. A battle between a man with a club and a mammoth? Well, now you can find out. I mean, to be fair, if you're asking yourself that question, you've got probably bigger worries, because uh, why you would think a man with a club would ever beat a mammoth, I don't really know. Um, but yes, there you go. Proof that a mammoth will beat a man with a club. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. So until then, cheerio.